finally, 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 after two weeks of waiting, I finally got myself a new graphics card. Back from the dead. What's up, guys, and welcome to MK Bolt Weapons Channel. And today, uh, I'm going to show you my unboxing of the new graphics card I got from MSI. It's called the R9390. As all of you know that uh, I lost my palette or my old graphics card here, the HD4870, two weeks ago. And it was really uh, painful working trying to use the onboard graphics card. I mean, uh, the, work, uh, the work that I'm doing, uh, doing all those designs and effects for uh, Second, Life, Second Life weapons. And right now, I'm really glad. I'm really glad that I got my hands off one of this good uh, GPU. And without further ado, let's uh, install it. Back from the dead. Some of you may ask, I thought you're getting a GTX 980 Ti. Well, I have to wait another month or so to get uh, one, and I won't be able to work during those waiting period. This is uh, more of an urgent need rather than a want. So in my price range, it's really more of a battle between GTX 970 and R9390. According to the most reviews I watch from popular YouTubers, 8 out of 10 will choose an R9390 over a GTX 970. Uh, so this is why I get an R9390. I think uh, that's enough chatting and let's look at the design of the graphics card. On the back of the card is a matte black PCB with a gorgeous backplate with MSI logo. This card measures 10.9 inches in length and weighs 2.89 pounds. It comes with a plastic shroud design in red and black color scheme with zero closer fans that stop spinning and under idle load, keeping heat and noise level down. MSI uses a small deflectors on the aluminum heat sink to guide more airflow onto the heat pipes. And the 8mm nickel plated copper heat pipes comes in contact with the core and threads for more efficient cooling. On this side comes with the 6-pin and 8-pin power ports and next to it is the metal plate that cools the memory. And yes, this has no Crossfire connectors because Crossfire is accomplished through PCIe bus due to its a smarter GPU. For monitor connectors, you'll get a display port 1.1 with a max resolution of 4096 by 2160 at 60Hz. HDMI 1.4 port with a maximum resolution of 4096 by 2160 at 24Hz and the dual DVI-D with a max resolution of 2560 by 1600 at 60Hz. As you can see, this graphics card can power up to 3 monitors using the Affinity technology. It also has this FreeSync and Liquid VR technology. For the specification, this GPU has 8GB GDDR5 memory size with a 512 bits memory bus. I won't be giving the detailed features of this GPU because by the time we're making this video, you probably already know the features of MSI R9390. If you don't, we got a link down at the description. You could just check that out. What I really want uh, you guys to know about before you purchase this GPU is uh, you might as well consider your chassis because uh, as most of you know the car draws a lot of power and thus it heats up so much and it heats up even more if you're uh, using the MSI gaming app 
yes the one with the OC mode with the gaming mode and the silent mode switch how did I find that out well uh, my idle temps are running around 60 to 65 degrees Celsius which most R9 uh, 390 owners in accordance to this four rooms uh, will tell you that um, it's normal well for me I don't think it's normal so I did uh, like a, a little search more search or discoveries so that uh, I'll be able to find out what's causing this and yes it turns out that the MSI gaming app is doing all of this uh, high temperatures and when I finally uh, turn that application off my idle temps run like uh, 45 to 50 degrees Celsius that's in my case because I'm living in a tropical country on the other hand you still have a decent uh, 70 to 70 to 72 degrees Celsius while gaming with the MSI gaming app on using the gaming mode you might also say that that is the zero process features where in the fans will always start kicking and uh, spinning when it reaches a certain uh, temperature during the full load and that certain temperature is like 65 degrees Celsius and it will only spin in about um, 20 to 25 percent but uh, for me I don't want to wait for that since it also hits up the entire chassis and the other components inside you know and I prefer around like uh, 35 to 45 degrees Celsius during the light uh, loads like browsing the internet or something that's my own uh, that's only my opinion but what do you think guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below since I'm also learning here with all of you give us a thumbs up if you like the video and if you want to watch more of our tech reviews don't forget to subscribe to this channel thanks for watching and we'll see you at the next episode